waiting for the personal trainer of the Hollywood superheroes and also the personal trainer of Alicia Vikander in Tomb Raider. His name is Magnus Lindbach and he's going to tell us some secrets about how to get that amazing Hollywood body. So the way I work on, on a movie set is quite different than the average trainer. I Not only do I take care of the training part and the nutrition, I'm also there on set every single day to oversee what my actor's doing. You know, everything from warming up to stunt work to, to wire work. Uh, 45 minutes in the morning, but that chance of giving me more energy throughout the day, so that's good. The quickest way of uh, pumping up, it really depends. If, if you got low body fat, you should eat something sugary, about 20 minutes, just a little sugar 20 minutes before you want to look from pumped up. And then obviously you, you do push-ups or you work the muscle that you want to enhance. Say the big difference, if you compare, for example, Alicia with, in Tomb Raider to Alexander, Scarsgård in Tarzan is what the characters, what, what background they, they came from and what they needed. <laughs> the most important thing about Lara Croft is, is basically everything. Physically, she needs to, to have the aesthetics, she needs to be strong all over, she needs to be explosive, have the ability to jump and be explosive and fight and climb. So uh, that's the tough part, you know, to build someone up not, not only physically, but you have to give them a skill set, uh, different tools that they can use in the movie. Typical day for Alicia, where it de would depend on which cycle we're in, but while filming, it would be five meals a day, uh, egg breakfast with uh, three poached eggs, a little shot of uh, fresh squeezed lemon and some ginger. Then a snack, probably a protein-based snack, maybe, maybe some shrimp or some salmon. Um, lunch would probably be fish or seafood with some slow carbs and good fats. Same thing, snack, protein-based in the afternoon and dinner, chicken or, or fish again with some slow carbs and good fat. Actually, it's, it's even harder to overeat. So when you're in the build-up cycle or in the bulk-up cycle, that's, that many times that's harder because then you need to eat more than you usually would. <laughs> so when I work with, with Ben Affleck on Justice League, uh, uh, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's carrying a big frame and a lot of muscles. So. Uh, that was, that was a challenge for him to eat that much. Obviously age is a factor that can make it a little bit harder. Um, I don't like to use age as an excuse though. You can get in good shape even though you, you're coming up in age. Uh, I don't think there's like an upper limit where you should, should start saying no to the superhero jobs. You can, you can be in really good shape in any age, if you ask me. I'll take that as a yes. What? When you do a makeover like, like I do with my clients, you need to take a break afterwards. You need to kind of, your body needs to, to go back to its normal, a little more at least. And uh, that's normally what the actor wants as well, because you don't want to be stuck in a category, you know, if you've done a big physical part as an actor, you don't necessarily want to do that again. I wanted to put on some weight, but I also didn't want to get too big and you can't look like a bodybuilder. I just came off uh, a movie working with James McAvoy uh, on Glass, which is a sequel of Split, when we uh, did a pretty amazing transformation. Uh, that actually got voted the, the biggest transformation in Hollywood, uh, 2017. 
When you do an extreme project like this, it's going to be hard, obviously. It, it, it is tough to eat the same food or food out of a box day in and day out. And having me standing there watching you, making sure that you eat every little bit and, uh, you know, do the, to do that extra rep in the gym and not to have that break that you, you know, would have in, in, in a normal life. Right now I'm working on Wonder Woman 2 with uh, Gal Gadot. Uh, I'm uh, set to travel to London within a few weeks to, to start the prep there and then we're going to tra travel all over the world. The rumors are that we're going to go for six to seven months. I don't actually have a schedule yet, but it's going to be a long one. Most of my clients are actually artists or musicians and with them I work in a very different way. It's, it's much more about life coaching, structure, balance. Nutrition training, yes, but everything from, from how to uh, structure your life when you're off tour to, to what to do on tour. So everything from uh, what you eat in the morning to what kind of mental preparation do you do one hour before show or 20 minutes before show and what do you do when you get off the stage at night. So with them it's, it's very different, it's much more uh, about balance and structure. I've been working with a, with, a, with a lot of artists since I've been doing this for 18 years but you know Recent years, I, um, I worked with Katy Perry, Mike Posner, uh, Lucas Graham, uh, Avicii, Britney Spears, Michael Bolton, Michael Bublé, uh, and so on. I also have my own uh, food line here in LA with a catering company, so you can order the Magnus Method and you get it delivered to your home. Uh, you don't have to think about food, you, you, you'll get it to your doorstep and uh, you can get in pretty good shape fast. The Magnus method is, is a way of looking at training, nutrition and lifestyle and the balance in between those three. When you're away on these smoothie projects, it's, it's actually pretty hard to have a social life. You got to put most, most of your life on hold or move your life to a different part of the world. So. Uh, try to bring my family with me, uh, try to get my family and friends to come and visit, but it is pretty tough. It is pretty tough to, to just pack up and go to a new, new part of the world, and that's your new home for, for the next four to six months. Thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Take care.